Today, advertisements are used to promote and sell a certain product or service. All advertisements have to convey a strong message to the audience. This can be something that maybe the age group of your audience can relate to and which can make them laugh or cry. What advertisements do is identify which target audience they want to aim their product at. In this first part I'm going to talk about is how advertisers categorise their target audience to make sure that the advert has the right appeal for the audience thereafter. An explorer is someone who is excited when new things come out and explorers are usually someone who is younger or is a student. This age group are more likely to be looking for the most common or the most popular brand choice. This age group are most likely to want the newest things such as the new iPhone or a new Samsung. In the Samsung S9 advert it shows how the phone adapts to its surroundings to take a picture just like what the eye can see. Their slogan is, the camera that adapts like your eye. We also see that if you're on holiday you can see the time where you are and what the time is back home. We also see the person in the ad making new friends and making memories. We also see her being connected back home through the technology. A mainstreamer is someone who is part of the mass as they are people who favour big and well known value for money, so family brands. Someone who is a mainstreamer will also most likely want to buy the new VW car as they want all of the newest products as the safest and the best technology wise. Mainstreamers are people with houses and jobs who have a settled life. In the new VW Tegan advert, the UK commercial, it starts off with loads of teenagers being dropped off at school by their parents and being embarrassed to be seen with them. We also see the teenagers slouched down in the seat of the car so that people can't see them. And then we see a father and a daughter in the new VW Tegan. They are both looking really smart and the dad is wearing a suit. We also see the other parents looking around to look at the car. In this advert it is clear that the other parents cars are old and basic and they are jealous and we can see the shot look on their faces. Then at the end of the advert the car tells the dad that his meeting has been moved. This shows the technology that has been used in the car. Success without integrity means nothing. A succeeder is someone who is confident and has a strong work ethic and someone who will be in top management and wants the very best. Someone that is also caring and likes things that promote stress relief or likes to be in control. Something that they may like is boss perfume. At the very start of the boss bottled man of today with Chris Hemsworth, he says success without integrity means nothing. In this advert it shows Chris using the perfume. I feel like the way that this has been filmed shows us what kind of a person he is as he talks about admirable qualities such as compassion, honesty and giving. He is a role model for men who have high aspirations in life when people see someone famous using a certain products, it makes them want to buy it. Ah. A struggler is someone who has very few resources and are mostly middle aged. These are people who are heavy consumers of junk food, alcohol, and who try to win the lottery. 
They try to escape from their problems. Try These people are usually the buyers of fast food, such as KFC. Right. In some of the TV adverts, they show the special offers, such as Maybe. for bargain buckets. Chicken. In this particular advert, they compare Maybe. mindfulness with chicken. the sound of rainfall to the sound of sizzling Maybe. fried chicken. chicken. This will appear to the strugglers as they are less Hello. likely to practice Small mindfulness and meditation so and instead eat room. junk food. And just chill KFC's advert is telling us the that their fried chicken is good for your well-being, KF which it chill. isn't. Finger licking good vibes. Gunn identified that there are 12 types of advertisements. In this section, I'm going to talk about three of them. Each different type of advert is useful for influencing us in different ways. In the flash advert, we see the dog singing and then we see the woman effortlessly cleaning her house. This advert focuses on problems some people face in their everyday lives and then the product is introduced as the remedy. It works miracles. Flash. Ah, cleans up the, impossible. the adverts are created to be relatable to the target audience making it highly effective as it surpasses their expectations. First, the ad sets the stage with a problem Something is clearly missing in the customer's life, or there is a clear need. Then, the ad introduces a remedy. My hair feels stronger than I could ever imagine. Thanks to my personal strength. The Ellie Golding Pan 10 advert uses her celebrity fame to influence people who want to be like her. And helps make them stronger. Adverts like this are very common. They are likely to use celebrities in order to build a strong brand identity. Consumers are more likely to buy into a product that their favourite celebrity is associated with. The audience is also subconsciously becoming aware of the product. Characters or celebrities help the viewer embed your brand into viewers' minds. Females who want to have hair like Ellie will be persuaded to buy the brand of shampoo. The last one I'm going to look at is Symbolise the Problem, where we use a symbol or an exaggeration visual to introduce the problem. In the Specsavers advert, we see a vet diagnosing something furry on the surgical table. He cannot find a heartbeat for the animal, so calls his assistant. Who picks up the furry object and places it on her head. It's her hat. The problem being symbolised is that of poor eyesight and the slogan should have gone to Specsavers. This influences people to get their eyes checked and wear glasses so they can see better and not make mistakes like the vet. In this section, I'm going to look at a couple of different advertisements and their style and how they use persuasive techniques to appeal to a different target audience. The first is Innocent Orange Juice. Proudly presenting Innocent Orange Juice, made from lovely juicy oranges, squeezed into this rather nice bottle. I chose this advert because it is very colourful and it also has a lot of interesting sounds. This advert also makes you want to buy it as it makes the drink look really good and juicy. It develops pathos by using language such as lovely, juicy, rather nice bottle and looks as good as it tastes. It will appear to people who like fresh, unconcentrated and unsweetened orange juice. They would also appreciate the humour in the advert and the childlike sound effects. It's for people who like to keep things simple and enjoy having fun and like attractive packaging within the innocent advertising campaigns. They talk a lot about innocent, tastes good, does good, which highlights the work that innocent does with the charities in the communities. <laughs> I've 
is the John Lewis Christmas advert. These are not a part of an ongoing campaign, but our annual adverts are shown in the lead up to Christmas each year. What more can your love do for me? When will love be Advert itself in 2016 shows Buster the Boxer staring at the trampoline in the garden, which is the main Christmas present for the little girl in the house. Buster watches jealously as the wildlife creatures enter the garden at night and are seen jumping on the trampoline having fun. In the morning, Buster rushes out to take his turn jumping around and having fun. One day The advert I have chosen was Buster the Boxer from 2016. John Lewis appeals to succeeders and mainstreamers, likely to be those that are late 20s to early 30s, up to those in their 60s. This target market appreciates quality over price of the product. Whilst the John Lewis adverts don't specifically advertise a product, they persuade the audience through pathos and the emotion of giving. In the John Lewis advert, they make good use of CGI to give the animals a good personality and to make it more fun and exciting to watch. <laughs> 